What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. And guys, today um, we got another Market Talk vid. And as per usual, drop a like. So if you're new, chance of winning 15K now. It's not 10K anymore. 15K um, stubs. If you guys reach a goal like uh, the like goal of 70 likes. So 70 likes, someone gets some coins. I should say stubs. So go do that. If you guys want to see some MLB game, uh, talk, like anything, a Mets talk, any team talk, um, overview of tonight's games, whatever, let me know in the comment section below. Honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I haven't really played MLB The Show. I'm getting kind of bored of it. I really, I am, honestly. My team's pretty good, but I really just want 2K to come out. Uh, honestly, I'm really getting ready for 2k. I'm kind of getting bored of this game and I'm um, right now I'm undefeated in this ranked seasons, but I'm only not even in the wild card. I think I'm like four or five and oh But anyways guys um, today this week we have a roster update and we got six inning program cards Gonna be a big week in the game Um, I will not be grinding the six inning program in my opinion. I don't want to I'm just not with it I have not been grinding this game really that much. I just really, if I come on the game, I just check my auctions, check my um, check the overalls of players, and just snipe some cards. That's really all I do. Um, I don't really play the game too much. I just try to get my stubs up and making investments. That's really what I've been doing. So, anyways, guys, let's get into the market talk. Right now, they have the same packs out, so no new packs yet. So, right now, let's check out the player of the month cards. We were talking about them on Friday. Let's see. We got series let's go to player of the months and see what is going on so right here um i have a mike clevenger and guess what he went up a ton he has got to go um mike clevenger went up did i get lugo i have a seth lugo that went up so right now if you guys listen to me you made a, at least 15k stubs off the lugo and clevenger because um i told you guys to get them um i said that they're gonna go open overall like I, I did say, I mean, not overall. I said they were going to go up in price. <clears throat> what happened? They went up in price. Now is the time to sell. Don't take any risks. Just sell. I've made this mistake before. I didn't sell. Everybody played the solos and they got monthly awards and I got screwed. So go ahead and sell players now. Take that. Take the dub while you can. Don't take the L. Go ahead. Run to the auction. Sell your cards. That's all I'm going to say. Don't take the L like I did. These cards went up a little bit. They're 4K. Now they're 7K. Go ahead and sell. Take your dub now. Do not lose out. That's all I'm going to say. Like, literally. Um, the only way you'd have made stubs off this is selling now. If you wait longer, you never know what they could drop. And also, more people could pull these cards. So, just go ahead and sell them. Take your dub. Make sure you don't take in hell and wait like I do all the time. Just Travis Darno is the most expensive gold. I have one of him. So, off these packs, I made actually a ton of stubs, which is really confusing because I thought I was going to lose stubs, but I actually made a ton of stubs. So that is good news. Anyways, let's look at the tops cards because I'm curious on what they're looking like. The Zhongs 20K. So right off the bat, if you have these cards, they're super cheap. I mean, uh, it's kind of upsetting. You could sell now. You could wait. In my opinion, either way, they're just so cheap that it doesn't even matter. Um, if you have a low overall team, I you could use them. Like Juan Soto is usable, Paul DeJong is usable. But, eh, I don't know. It's up to you. I would go ahead and sell. They're really not going to go up that much. As you can see, most 91s, 92s are cheap in the game. And as you can see, these are based off solos. A lot of people grind the solos, and that's why they're cheap. So, realistically, are they going to go up in value? Probably not. If anything, they'll probably go down. So, you can go ahead and sell them. No problem. Highly recommend you sell them. Don't wait till they're 15, 10K. You don't want to take that big of an L. So just go ahead, sell the dude. Just believe me. Um, guys, um, let's get into some more market talk. Let's get into the live series cards. So Trout is up a ton. Scherzer is down a little bit. Yelich is about... So really, Bellinger is about the same. The market did not really change as I'm looking at it right now. I mean, really... If anything, the market did crash a tiny bit. It was definitely way worse on Friday. Verlander at 14K is still mind-boggling. He's one of the best pitchers in the league. Um, I don't know. If you guys have the stubs to cop like five Verlanders at 11.9, I will go ahead and do so. He is still playing amazing. He's so good. Uh, you know what? Also, if you guys did not complete the Blue Jays set, 
You guys should probably complete that before they drop Bo Bichette. Unless they did drop Bo Bichette, which is very possible. Let's see. They did. Okay, so I take that back. He is a 72 overall. He's at 1,900 stubs. And what I don't understand is... Vlad Jr. came in as the game, into the game as a gold, right? So, if Vlad Jr. is a gold, and he didn't even... They made him a gold before he even started playing. So, Bobacek comes into the league, breaks records, hits 408 in his first week, has, what, seven home runs, like nine extra base hits, and he's a 72. So, in my opinion, I'm very upset. I'm confused. Um... In my opinion, MLB messed up on this. He should be at least a high silver. But instead, they want to give him a 72 gold. I mean, MLB, like, what is this? Like, seriously, I don't know what the hell this is. He's going to be a 75 silver. If he isn't, I literally will probably not post again. What he has done so far in a week of baseball, I have, I, I don't even know what to say. The dude is crazy, crazy, crazy good. His stats are unreal. He is a... I hope he keeps this up because I'm a big fan of him. But the fact that he is not gold or silver is insane. And Vlad Jr. was. And he did terrible in his first couple months. So, you could disagree. Statistics-wise, it's completely on point. But that's just all I'm saying. If you guys have that Boba Chet, just keep him. He's going to go up in value. If you don't, if you don't, don't even buy him. It's too expensive. Unless you get him for that 1,000 coins. So, anyways, let's get into it. So, Mad Bomb is pretty expensive right now um really i'm gonna be honest with all of you the market did is like around the same but dropped a tiny bit like ozzy smith's 19k does see if keith hernandez went up i told you guys to invest in a ton of signature series let's check keith hernandez um keith hernandez is at 14 so he didn't even go up he went up a tiny bit wow so i'm honestly just confused it looks like the market is at a standpoint it looks like it's at its average and really honestly when friday comes roster update comes they're probably gonna drop new stuff i would go ahead and just simply pick up new cards when friday comes roster update comes if you have your um what's it called if you have your investments you could go ahead and sell them on friday um zach Greinke to go diamond let's check the investments let's check trey turner i know trey turner is actually playing very well right now you could go check his stats. He's playing very well. And I'm pretty sure he's still really cheap. Dude, he's still at 1,300 stubs. I know one sub of mine has 500 Trey Turners, and he's going to win. Why did he drop an overall? I, he did have a rough like return from the DL, but he's doing really good right now. He has 140 points this month in fantasy, which is like a top 30 player. So that's good to know. Um, I hope he goes up in overall. Henley Ramirez went up about 13K. It is time to sell him. A lot of the signature signature series did go up, so that's good to know. We got Ian Kinsler, 96. He went up a little bit. Pete Alonso went up about 3K, even though he went down a lot. Michael Young went about 10K. Martin went up a little bit. Roy Oswald went up a little bit. Jimmy Fox dropped a lot. About He was, what, 35K with that Honus Wagner set dropped. Uh, Garrett Anderson's 11K. Vlad Jr. is around the same. He might have went up a tiny bit. Mike Trout went up, uh, Justin Upton went about 4k, CC went up a little bit, McCann's around the same price as usual, Benito went up a lot, I'm going to sell him and I'm going to sell Hanley, so right now, this is what I'm going to say, if you have any SIG cards, you could go ahead and sell safely, they're not going to probably drop SIG packs for a while, unless they drop another one this week, which they do a lot, so right now, I'm going to go to the market, I'm going to sell my Benito, if that's how you say his name it's probably off but you know it's okay because i always pronounce every name wrong so i'm gonna sell my benito for 56 hopefully he sells and i'm gonna also sell my hanley ramirez at 53k i got him for 38 so that's a big plus if you guys listen to me you made some stubs if you didn't that's kind of stinky um anyways guys i hope you enjoyed stay tuned for more content make sure to drop the like 2K is coming soon. Get ready for three vids a day. That's all I'm going to say. Three, two to three vids a day, every single day on 2K. We're going to have gameplay every day. Something different on this channel. Gameplay. Do we ever post gameplay on this channel? No. Well, guess what? We're going to start posting gameplay. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Come through. Um, that's really all I got for you. Have a good one. Have a good day. Be blessed. Peace.
Tomorrow, take it flight.